Okay, so it's time for a new series. So you know I like to make my tutorials in a way so that we can actually build something that is close to a real world scenario. So in this series we are going to create a rent a car app using October CMS as a backend and view as a frontend to our application. Now I know what you're saying, hey we already did that and you would be kind of right. We did something similar when we created October view to do app, but this is going to be something different guys. In this series we are going to tackle a bit more complex subjects. So we are going to remind ourselves of what we learned in the past series, but we are also going to tackle some new concepts like Vuex and View Router. And before we do any real work, we need to set up our project. So that is what we are going to be doing in this and the next episode. And before we begin, remember everything that we do here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so I'm using Laravel Valet for my local host, so my local host server. Uh, but you can use anything you want, MAMP, BAMP, XAMP, WAMP and so on. So this is going to be used for October so that we can access our API. Uh, you can also check out the video, I will put it in the cards uh, up on the, in the right corner. Uh, I already have a video about setting up October with Laravel Valet. But as you will see it's very easy because Laravel Valet allows you to just create a directory. Uh, we were going to call it view rent a car cd into it view rent a car we can maybe create an index.html file file right here and now if i go right here to view rent a car localhost as you will see we'll, we just get empty page so this is the easy way we can access uh, our october application so we are going to install our October application right here and we're going to call it API. So composer create project October October API because this October application is going to be our API. Okay, so while this is running, I'm just going to open up SQL Pro and create a database for myself. We are going to be using MySQL database for this, but you can even use uh, SQLite if you like uh, when set up, setting up October. So I'm just going to uh, connect to my valet uh, and create a new database and I'm just going to call it view rent a car and add it and that's it. So we created our database and we are just going to uh, wait for Composer to finish installing October. So it throw the, uh, throws this fatal error right here, but uh, that's nothing to worry about. If you just do PHP artisan October install, it should work okay. Okay, so not right here. Uh, we need to go to API. And now we run PHP artist on October install because our October is in the API directory. Okay, so we first need to choose a database. In our case, it's going to be zero. But as, as I said, you can use SQLite. Uh, there are tutorials on my channel uh, which deal with installing October, so you can check that out. Okay, my SQL host is going to be localhost, port is 32. 3306 database name is view rent a car uh, login is root and password is nothing first name is email address is admin at admin.com and login is going to be admin and the password is also going to add be admin and is this information correct? Yes. Application URL is actually going to be api.view uh, rent a car. So as you can see, I set a sub subdomain up for this. Okay, uh, no. So the view is installed and now we'll, if we try to access view rent a car localhost, refresh this page as you can see nothing is happening if we go to api as you can see this doesn't look good and we can get to the backend of our view uh, instance 
uh, actually our October installation. So what we want to do right here is uh, create a subdomain for it uh, using uh, Valet. It's pretty simple. Uh, but if you're using something like MAMP, XAMPP or WAMP, you just point it to the API directory. So you don't have to do this. But if you're using Valet, you can do something like Valet uh, link API dot view rent a car. Right. And now we should have our uh, subdomain set up so we can access it like this API dot view rent a car dot local host. Right. And now we get to the demo page. And if we go to the back end, we can log in. So uh, we are just going to go to the settings and now we are going to update October to the late, latest version and install some plugins. Okay, so I'm just going to click update some plugins, check for updates. As you can see, we need to select an action for this. So we are using PHP 7, so uh, we don't need to worry about this. At least with Laravel Valet, uh, if you're using something else, please make sure that you're using uh, PHP 7. If you don't uh, use PHP 7, then you don't need to update this. So don't update October then. Uh, if you're using something like PHP 5.6, everything we do here will most likely work with your version of, of October. So select action, confirm update and update software. Okay, so the update is completed. We are on the build 443. Uh, now we just want to install one plugin, which is called Builder. So that we can set up our API or create our API plugin. Okay, so now that we have Builder installed, uh, we can use it to create our API plugin, which is going to send the data to our API. Now we did something similar to this in a few videos on this site, especially in the October series, but we are just going to quickly go through it. So it's nothing hard. It's a builder plugin. We want to create a new plugin. We want to give it the name of uh, view rent a car. And the author is going to be watch learn, watch learn and uh, This is going to be our icon. So, okay. Now that we have our plugin set up, let's add a new uh, table to actually new database. So it's going to be called view, watch, learn, view, rent a car vehicles. So the first column is going to be ID. It's going to be a type of integer. Where is it? Okay, so integer, it's going to be auto incrementing and it's going to be primary key field. So we need that. Uh, next thing we're going to be needing a name. So add column name or title. So it's going to be a string and it's going to be nullable. Let's create another one called slug. So this is going to be a slug for our uh, vehicle so this is also going to be a string nullable and uh, let's just create one more field and we're going to call it description so it's going to be a description of our vehicle it's going to be text and it's also going to be nullable and we are going to add timestamps so created that updated that so that we have that and save this okay save and apply now we need to create our models. So we are going to create a new model called vehicle. So this is the naming convention, convention of Laravel. So uh, your controllers should be vehicles and your model should be vehicle with uh, first letter in capital case. So add timestamp support and OK. OK, now we want to create a form and that form is going to contain text for our name or title so title title okay let's create another control this is also going to be text but this is going to be slug 
and we're going to name it that and here under the advanced we're going to choose a preset and choose a field called title and the type is going to be slug so what this is going to do when we start typing something in the title field the slug is automatically going to be created in the slug field uh, now we are going to add um, let me just see a rich text editor uh, we are going to make it span full length and we are going to make the size of it to be large and it's going to be called uh, be calling the field description okay and that's about it so save this uh, we are also going to create lists and the list is going to be a field of title just title for now so the label is going to be title so this is going to be the list when we go to our vehicles and we are going to see the list of vehicles and then we can click on it and update it or uh, delete it or whatever so the type is going to be string no text uh, it's going to be searchable and it's going to be sourceable for now save this okay let's go to the back end menu uh, and actually we are not good we are just going to create the main menu item and we are going to call it vehicles so, so this is going to be the uh, menu item that is going to appear right here when we create this plugin so vehicles url uh, we don't have the url yet and we are just going to choose an icon of okay right save this uh, we are going to get back to this because we still haven't uh, got the link set up but once we get the controls set, set up then we are uh, going to have a link uh, autocomplete right here so we go to controllers we add the new controller and it's going to be called vehicles and the model for the vehicles is going to be vehicle and the menu item is going to be vehicles and we are going to set up list controller behavior and form controller behavior okay save this now we go back to backend menu click on vehicles and in the url we start writing vehicles right so we get watch learn view rent a car vehicles okay save this and we just need to refresh the page right so we have vehicles right here so let's just create two entries in it so vehicles we go to create and we add vehicle one add some description right here and click create and close and we add an, uh, so this is our list right so we create another vehicle uh, check out how this is actually out of filling so vehicle dash zero two so this is our slug and we just add some description create and close and now we have two vehicles right here okay so we got this set up now we just need to go into october and uh, open it up in our text editor and set up our actual api so we need to set up our api routes or endpoints so now in our api folder where october lives we go to plugins watch learn uh, view rent a car and create a new file right here called routes.php okay save this uh, now let me just make this bigger we open up uh, php tags and then we use watch learn view rent a car models and the model we created was called vehicle okay and now we create our route so this is just simple uh, laravel code uh, to get our routes so our route is going to be called vehicles and in that route we are going to have we are going to use eloquent code to get all the vehicles and it's pretty simple so vehicle oh and that's it so we are getting all of the vehicles and now we just need to return them uh, 
Now, if we go to our endpoint in the browser, so API, view rent a car local host vehicles, we get this. So this is our API and it works. So this is it for this episode, guys. Don't forget everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. And uh, in the next episode, we are going to connect to this API and just console log all of that data and then we can get to real work. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.